made these holes. Curse the heart that had the heart to do it. Curse the blood that let these blood from hence. If ever he hath a child, a forty be it, prodigious and untimely brought to life, whose ugly and unnatural aspect might fright the hopeful mother at the view, and let that be added to his unhappiness. If ever he have wife, let her be made more miserable by the life of him. And I am made by my young lord and thee. Avaunt, thou dreadful minister of hell, be gone! Sweet saint! For charity, be not so cast! Oh, never, for God's sake, hence and trouble us not. For thou hast made thee happy earth by hell. If thou delight to view thy heinous deeds before this pattern of thy butcheries, blush, blush, thou lump of foul deformity. Either heaven with lightning strike the murderer dead, or earth give over why lead him quick. Lady! You know no rules of charity, which renders good for bad, blessings for curses. Villain, thou knowest no law of God, no man. No beast so fierce, but no so much of pity. But I know none, and therefore am no beast. Oh, wonderful when devils tell the truth. More wonderful when angels are so angry. Vouchsafe, divine, perfection of a woman, of these supposed evils, to give me leave, by circumstance, but to acquit myself. I did not. Kill your husband. Why then he is alive? Nay, he is dead. And slain by Edward's hand. <laughs> in thy foul throat thou liest. Queen Margaret saw thy murderous weapon smoking in his blood. I was provoked by her slanderous tongue, which laid thy guilt upon my guiltless shoulders. Thou wast provoked by thy bloody mind and never dreams of all but butcheries. Didst thou not kill this king? I grant you. Dost grant me, hedgehog? Then God grant me to thou mayst be damned for this wicked deed. Oh, he was mild, gentle, and virtuous. The better for the king of heaven that hath him. He is in heaven <laughs> where thou shalt never come. Let him thank me then, and hope to send him thither, for he was fitter for that place than earth. And thou art fit for any place but heaven. Yes, one place else, if you will hear me later. Some dungeon. Your bed chamber. <laughs> Ill rest betide the chamber where thou liest. So will it, madam. I hope so. I know so. <laughs> but, gentle Lady Anne, is not the cause of these timeless deaths, of these planned pageants, Henry and Edward, as blameful as the executioner? Thou art the cause and the most the curse. Your of beauty that. was the cause of that effect. Your beauty, that it haunt me in my sleep. Time to take the death of all the world so I might live one hour in your sweet bosom. If I thought that, I tell thee, homicide, these nails should rend their beauty from my cheek. These eyes could never endure sweet beauty's wreck. You should not blemish it if I stood by. As all the world is cheered by the sun, so I by that. It is my day, my life. Black night overshade thy day, and death thy night. Curse not thyself, fair creature, thou art both. I would I were to be revenged on thee. It is a quarrel most unnatural to be revenged on him that loveth thee. It is a quarrel just and reasonable to be revenged on him that killed my husband. He that bereft thee, lady, of thy husband, did it to help thee to a better husband. His better does not breathe upon thee. He lives and loves thee better than he could. Name him. Plantagenet. Why, that was he. The shall say name, but one of a better nature. Where is he? Here. <coughs> Why dost thou spit at me? Would it were mortal poison for thy sake. Never came poison from so sweet a place. Out of my sight! Thou must infect mine eyes! Mine eyes! Sweet lady, have infected mine. <laughs> 